New York. It's okay, done. friends, welcome back to the Fandolin Fivesome, previously known as the Dragon of Icefire Peak, but as we are not really doing that questline perfectly, we decided to rename it to the Fandolin Fivesome, hosted by the Rusty Whistle Tavern, and made part of viewers, or er, by viewers like you. Previously, our last adventure, our heroes uh, were at the bottom of Tethys' estate in the sanctuary and sacrificial room where they fought the uh, helmed horror that sprung upon them after the altar was touched and uh, the sacrificial offering moved. Uh, the heroes slew the helmed horror in quick fashion um, and proceeded to explore the rest of the estate, um, finding themselves up to the second floor. They found the paladin that Elski had traveled with, um, completely unaware of what happened and asleep. Um, upon waking him up, they inquired with him on what happened, and he was just as confused as, as they were. Um, he joined them to uh, what looked to be Tethys's actual room, um, where they found a portal, um, they know not where it leads yet, but they have a pretty good idea. Um, they also found a map um, and a journal so far, and also an interesting bag that has magical properties. Um, and now our heroes stand um, trying to figure out what to do next. So heroes, what do you wish to do? Thanks for the subscription, Kimacore. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it took you long enough. Guys, make, <clears throat> make sure you guys hit that sub button when you're are you with us. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not paying for that. <laughs> I'll subscribe if Moon jumps through the portal. Oh, this is let's, let's ask the stream! <laughs> <laughs> he's on, he's on, uh, our paladin friend is unhandcuffed now, right? I meant yes. uh, Tell this paladin that he needs to go get that dagger. Yes. Yeah. Hey, uh, paladin, I'm gonna show you what, uh, the, what we were all very surprised to see in the basement of this place. You might be able to help us uh, with a with a problem that we have down there as well. It's whether the paladin you came here with was murdered. What's your name? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> He's turned into a wild animal. <laughs> Heroes, my name is Dalagorn. What are you? What is the name of your adventuring troop? The Fabulous Five, Sub. What? Fabulous. Don't listen to him. He's a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> we're the. Well, we're the. Uh, the unreliables. <laughs> Rogar's unreliable. We're the rusty leader. quintet. <laughs> Alright, friends, can you show me to my fellow paladin? Zorbert's angel. Yes, follow me! I want to see a dead body. I mean, Elfsky! I'm so distraught! Whoa, Brogar, where'd you go? <laughs> uh, Do we see... see? I got it. Do we see anyone oh. coming? Oh, oh! Make a perception check. I'll take that. Holy fuck. Alright, um... You had to roll a fucking natural 20, didn't you? Yeah. So, you... Looking out through the forest and the bridge, you do not see anything. However, to your left, you do hear um, what sounds to be like footsteps uh, walking on the cobblestones. My left footsteps on the cobblestone? There's someone coming. Like, right directly to my left. By a fountain to my left. Not like through the forest, right? Like right here. You hear at least two sets of footsteps. I didn't see what you pinged. By the fountain. Okay. I'm going to grapple down. With my rope. I want to let you know. pick either athletics or acrobatics. Well, athletics. I have a I rope. I, could, I guess I could check it out now. 
Magar and I have no idea what's going on because we're walking down the stairs. So. Send the owl to him. I don't know. I'm busy. <laughs> they're gonna get. They're gonna get Elski. All right. So Remy notices that he's in stealth. He runs over, notices his door still open, so he goes to shut it. What do you mean you're in stealth? What did you roll? Uh, over twenty. Twenty-two. He got. Okay. Yeah, but they're still shutting door. I mean... I'm going to send my owl just to the tree line as though he was a natural owl flying after if he saw that, what you're putting out. Do you want me to roll a perception for the owl or just assume that since he flew over there? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. I mean, it's the woods. There's probably owls all over the fucking place. Um... So you're just going to close the door right now? <laughs> yes. Remy's like looking at them. Did I, did I make it down? I rolled a 20. Yes, you did. Hey, wait, so wait, Remy, wait. I'm going to say since you're, you're stealth. You're clinging to the shadows of the wall right now. And you yes. can see five figures out and they have not noticed you yet. All right, then... <laughs> Remy sneaks back. He goes, uh, uh, there's a uh, five, uh, five guys coming. Uh, what do you want to do? I whisper. Do like <clears throat> oh. Sorry. I, I whisper into my sending stone. Your torch. I'm gonna bow. You guys want to go out the back? Uh, there's... Well, wait a second. Were they... Did they look like they, uh, they were not friendly? I, I assume that they're, they're coming here. They're probably not friendly. Okay. <laughs> So they are going to hey. enter. So that middle door is open. All right. So they see you. Uh, were you? Where were you, Remy? Oh, I'm still in stealth. Oh, okay. So right. they peer down the hallway, and they don't see anything. But they are obviously. Does wait? Does Remy see them? Yeah, we saw five of them. Yes, outside. Yeah, we don't. We don't have time to move. Make a perception check. Oh, you closest. guys are on the wrong side. You guys are stuck. Someone is here. Or someone who was here. We need to check the room. They're going to see Elski's body. I'm going to stealth. Okay, roll a stealth check. Remy, what's going on, man? Uh... Remy doesn't say anything. So with the way the sunlight's coming in uh, in this morning, Chris, you you attempt to meld to the shadows, but there really aren't anything that you can meld to from that location. All right. And I'm just Remy says, waiting. Remy tells, he whispers to Moon, he says, hi, you're coming. So, so Remy you hear, gets under there. You start to hear very faint footsteps walking into the <laughs> corridor. <laughs> Xander, you wait here. The body is up here now. Something is definitely going on. Robald, you head back to Fendelin. Tell the master. Robert jumps out and casts Shatter! <laughs> ah! Okay. They are surprised, so go ahead and make your attack with advantage. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Does that mean that their saving rolls have disadvantage because it's it's like a save throw? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead. Start start doing some save throws on these bad boys. Uh, what am I... What is it, wisdom? Uh, yeah. Let me pull it up. It is... Con. 14. That all doesn't count. You could probably do all the dice at the same time and then just like pick some them, right? Well, I don't think that's fair because I could say the one with more hit points picked that dice. Just say it's the first, the order in which they like show you. Just however you're going to place them. You know what I mean? Left or right? What if they have different cons? 
If you just want to save time, you know. If they all have well, the same stats, yeah, I could see that helping. No, I mean, you just say, like, one through 14. five. You pick which ones you want to be one through five. They have to beat 14, well, Tesla. Well, I thought if he rolled a 14, he, it would be okay. So, so yeah. it's a... It, it's a saving throw against my attack. They have to. They have to beat. I thought we agreed on right. I thought it was the roller. No roller. It's roller meets or beats. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's how so been two, doing two save. Okay. So it'll be and, the, and the one, two that. What's the radius? How big is that? It's all ten up. feet. It it should be. I think all of them maybe. No, he's not. It's not gonna make it. Wait, that guy that's in the room. Ten feet radius or diameter? Yeah, but ten he can put it in the center of him. He doesn't have to put it on that one dude. Yeah, but there's one in the room. Oh, okay, yeah, him. Yeah, that that looks that looks good. Okay. And then it's it's three d eight, so I'm gonna channel my divinity on this. Okay. So it's three d eight to anybody who failed, and then half that to the people who saved. Max, right? Let's put space bar. Bring up the menu with the Y. And wasn't your channel divinity like a max damage thing or something? Is it and you can use this indoors? Yeah. There's some flavor text on it that says like non magical things will break. Whoa. Oh wait, so wait. No, it's max damage. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. Why, why are you having me roll? <laughs> Sorry. You did max that. Damage. <laughs> huh? You did that. No, he he told me to roll. <laughs> I was like, sure. So what? How much damage do they take? So the people who failed the save take three d eight. So that's eight, sixteen, twenty four. And then the people who save take twelve. It's always max damage. If he channels it's divinity. For, for my channel. Oh, okay, okay. I will let you do that if you can pronounce your deity's name correctly right now. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Ford. Okay, good job. Yay. <laughs> so these these three, um, since you're out of the sacrificial room, Mock, and you you feel a little deflated having uh, your deity not be able to reach you in that unholy place, you kind of channel some extra anger, and you feel it coursing through you as you cast Shatter on these uh poor unsuspecting victims and these three in the back just completely collapse over dead we don't even oh. know if they're bad yep <laughs> bad. it's probably students again students. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just you see this that. guy go down to his knee in, in pain he just looks like <clears throat> his blood's draining from his ears and his nose and um he's just very very hurt and then and i i and, and then i shout to him i say surrender now face of similar things. Boy, real good. It's pretty, it's pretty intense, dude. Okay, so um, he is going to, let's see, how do we do this? They're surprised. So do they go now? Or do we roll initiative now? I don't know. You said they're surprised. <laughs> it just depends, I guess. How does it work, so like, if we're not, moon, like, noticed? If you're not noticed, then I don't think you roll initiative until you join the battle or until you decide to and then I can, you know, depending on what you're doing. So if you, like, sneak behind them, I'd put you next before their turn because you're going to surprise them again. But am I, like, free to move until they know where I am? That doesn't really seem fair, though. So that's just no, what I don't understand. I had, yeah, so uh, let's let's all roll initiative right now. Okay. Okay. I just don't know how that works. I know how it works in a video game. Seventeen for me. Okay. <clears throat> Eighteen for Moon. Horseberg rolled before I did, so he should probably go before me. Then Sorbert. And what did you roll, Rogar? Uh, two, two. So I should. I think I, you know, technically that was like my first turn. Yeah, anyway. sure, why not? <laughs> that was all your turns since you rolled the two. Yeah. 
So since you guys are out of the fight, I'm going to say this is the order. All right, so uh, Moon, you get to make a turn now since you saw them and they saw you. And then it's going to be their turn, and then we're going to start with Remy. Let's see here. <clears throat> uh, this one's almost dead in front of me. That's what you said. He looks very hurt. Okay. Uh, can I go up and, and do a incapac an incapacitating blow, so a non-lethal strike? You can try, sure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that locked up, but I know it's you, you, It's basically any attack that would bring it to zero. You can choose to knock it out and subdue it instead of killing it. Okay. So literally, just you're hitting them with whatever you want, and you just decide not to kill. Them. Okay. There's no special rolls. I'm just doing yeah. an attack roll. Yes. Okay. That's that's what I was wondering. Eleven. It's a mess. Um, so I, I will I will attempt to do the same with my bonus on arm strike. Okay. Jeez. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Never mind. <It's> <laughs> oh gosh! That's it. That's it. So this this uh, this man is gonna look at you and uh, just to... barely dodging your blows, the quarter <laughs> staff, and then the unarmed strike. Um, he is going to put his dagger to his neck and say, Sir, be praised. And he's going to kill himself. Okay. I tried, guys. Don't don't forget I tried. Oh, he is fucking dead. Of course, we got... I would have okay. been awesome if he rolled a one. I know, I was kind of hoping he would. Rogan, are you killed them all? We're not going to get any answers, man. We don't need answers. Uh, I think mm. that... So this cultist is going to... Roxas needs some answers. Look at... Attack of opportunity. Nice try. Okay. I should say a... Nice try. Incapacitating <laughs> strike of opportunity. I just want to point out how... um kind our, D our dm is when when we go and stand on some altars he likes to mind remind us i, I missed anyways so what, what do you mean chris no i mean you you will be like you sure you want to stand on that thing and, but he's like no -uh, i punched you <laughs> <laughs> Remy bumps over and you guys better stop him all right so he's going for all or nothing with his uh crossbow I'm gonna use my new sharp shooter skill so it's gonna be minus five um whatever my attack is okay is it a minus bonus to hit and a subtraction from damage? It's, yeah, it's minus hit, but plus 10 damage. Oh, minus oh, hit. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> so, yeah, it'd be eight. That's a mess. That's pretty rough. What's the subtract? It's five subtracted? Dang. Right, plus seven. But it's 10, 10 damage is a lot, so... So, he missed, and he goes, oh, I tried. <laughs> it's his turn. You gotta figure out how to combine that with something that also increases your attack roll. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to retcon something here. He did not attack at all, so he would have done a double dash. Oh. He didn't hit him anyway. Yeah, but can you move further? Would that have changed your action, Remy? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have seen out the door, so... But basically, it, it it changed where I wouldn't have shot, but I wouldn't have done anything either, because I can't catch him, so... I'm like, oh, he's... Uh, uh, uh. He just stares into the fire, sees his dead wife behind him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the turn. Hmm. 
Are you done? I'm done. Yeah, yeah. So, got to end your turn so I can go. Uh, oh, I didn't know. Dash. Yeah, come on. Dashing here while dropping my great sword on the ground. Ending yeah. my turn. You should misty step over here, you eagle wizard. <laughs> the best hearing in the world. Yeah, that was fucking ridiculous. It's 30 feet, six tiles? 30 feet? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go on the roof. Well, it doesn't say. I have to be able to see it. So. Can't you see everything you're familiar with? Well, he's in the wood line. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's more of like I need to take an action to do that. So I'm gonna go here and then. You're crazy. <clears throat> And I will cast Ray of Frost okay. at his butt specifically to slow down that Gluteus Maximus. So you jump down from the balcony with some spells, right? So you don't have to I do use like Misty any Step. Okay. Uh, that hits. Two. Two points yeah. of damage. And he One point slowed, on each right? butt cheek. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he feels the uh, your ray of frost shoots out at him and slaps him right in the gluteus maximus, and uh, you see his legs start to stiffen up as he's just fucking booking it, and he uh, you see him visibly slow down. Um, uh, let's see, is that your turn? Yeah. Roga. I ended Rogar's. You have to back it up. Go ahead, pierogi. <laughs> Where'd the pierogi go? There he is. He came outside. I'm coming out. The I, lo I love how he hops for each square. <laughs> did you mute yourself? How the hell oh, did I did? You... Oops. Oh you my went god. Way oh. too far. No, that's a dash. That's a two. So that I can move five tiles, then I dash to go ten tiles. He dashed. What? I thought a dash was your sa the same as your speed. Yeah, my speed is five tiles. No, he can move twenty-five, so he can move ten tiles if he dashes. And then he can't use his action. Right, that's, that's it. All you can do is run oh, okay. very far. That's five plus five, boys. Ten. Yeah, yeah math is hard. I know. <laughs> you can have my turn. Yeah. Moon, come out here and punch at him and miss everything. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. One, Moon. Is two, it? Shouldn't he three. move to twelve tiles then? No, I no. only have. Five move speed as a dwarf. Oh, okay. Tiny legs. Four, so just dash up next five, to him. His six. His seven. Teeth slow him down. Hey, diagonals are one move, right? Just so That's I, what I, he I, said, I, yes. Okay, thanks. Yep. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Just, just get up next to him, dude. We're gonna Where are you going? Going? <laughs> No, just get up next okay, fine. Did you just go and then oh and that's my turn no why are you doing that okay his turn he is all part through. of the plan how'd you go that far? he's got extra he's movement he, he he did that spiral dashing pick that monks do so for future reference if you just parked right next to him you would have target you would have opportunity struck him and he wouldn't be able to dash right now oh shit D oh. Sorry, Chris. Oh my gosh. Can I change that? No, I was trying to get you to stop, but you wouldn't. You also can't move that far because you're partly frozen. Oh, you're right. So he's got to be six. You just minus uh, 20 from a dash. Yeah, I was just trying to cut him off. Yeah, he's just going to change direction. <laughs> Moon just runs by him and eats some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want. I didn't want to like disrupt too much. Remy. All right, I'm gonna move. You did, you didn't move after you shot that last time. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna move right here, and I'm gonna 
You can dash and move again. <laughs> He's just gonna sob. I can dash. Yeah, you use your action oh, okay. to double your movement. All right, I'm gonna use that and basically. No, you, why would you go that way though? You wouldn't. You wouldn't know that he changed. Well, I guess you you'd know he's kind of going in that direction. He knows where that it's chasing. General direction. Would his... So Remy's just leaving the back door. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. Would. No, this makes sense. Like he would, he could just go out the door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But can he okay. dash out the door if he's got to open the door as an action? Yes, no. that's, that's something that's included in an action, as far as I understand. Like you unsheathe your sword, but you open. Those are the free door. actions. Those are different. Opening a door would be the bonus action, maybe, but it would still interrupt movement. I don't. Oh, free action so... is unsheathing, dropping a weapon. You can't just you can't sheath and unsheath. Sheath and resheath. That would be an action. Okay. Alright, we'll... so that's that's my turn. Alright. Um Remy's dead wife told me to do it. <laughs> oh, you can get up to him. Right. Go up and punch him. Uh, clockwork amulet. Okay. Uh, so it's 16. Yes, that hits. Five damage. Wait, <clears throat> didn't you use your clockwork amulet on the helm tour? No. I used inspiration. It wouldn't have made sense to do that because I still would have hit missed him. Oh, yeah, okay. How much damage? So roll damage? Roll five, damage? five damage. Flat damage. Okay. So you thump him right on his, his ribs and you hear him, Ugh! but he's uh, still determined to get the fuck away from you. Wizard is up. Where'd the other guy go? What other guy? The one that was in the room. Oh, that's the guy in the room. This yeah, is yeah, one yeah. Where oh. oh yeah, the other guy slit his throat. That's right. I will slow him down again. <clears throat> Shooting at his feet. Okay. 13. That hits. Clockwork. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Clockwork. <laughs> Ice bolt. Ignore that. That's the wrong thing. Wow, 13 damage. So, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Four wiener damage. Okay, so your ray of frost coalesces on his butt cheeks again. Yeah. He, he doesn't take stacking movement speed reduction, does he? No, it's just for that turn, 10. Okay. Roga. Oh, oh, the orgy. Let's, mm -hmm. see, let's see here. Oh, I'm running out of steam, Roga is. Two, three, four, five. Just get on the other side of him, and then we'll double team him when he tries to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can. Yeah, so I'll have to dash. Dash one, two. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the pain train. Mm. Well, I'm trying to face him. I want to face it. Eh, 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 eh. What? He Who's? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> This guy's nice screwed. Say, nice say, drop the <laughs> Where does he go? Starts getting raptured into heaven. <laughs> My he, heel calls to me. He just looks into this beautiful cultist's eyes. <laughs> uh, I say, surrender or face divine punishment for eternity. I end my turn. Moon. Whoops. Moon. All right, this time. <laughs> Do you want to go this way now? Oh my god. Yeah, run away. <laughs> he just flies into the, the tree and jumps in the fountain. Oh, dang god, I was running so fast before I ran past him. <laughs> oh, girl! Stop where you are, sucker! 
Yeah. Dang it. One, you missed it by one. <laughs> I'm running too fast. Hold okay, on. Let me, he misses. Let me... There we go. All right. Unarmed that strike. Is. That's a little better. To knock him unconscious, hopefully, or, or at least incapacitate him. Six damage. Six. Okay. So you punch him, and uh, he takes the blow. Um, and he definitely looks a little scared right now. So he is going to... He's going to look at Drogar after what he said, and he's going to reach out and touch your chest. Mm. Touch me. Inflict wounds. So what do I do, Mock? It's like an attack? What do I it's, a me it's a melee spell attack roll. So you would roll a d20, add his uh, his spell casting modifier. Oh, sorry, sorry. You don't add the modifier. You add the plus spell attack. So 19. So 19, that is a hit. He's going to be... And he's going to cast it at a second level. Ooh. Uh, 23. Gotcha. How's, is, how's he looking, by the way? He looks okay. Alright, then I'm going to use my reaction to beat him. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna touch him with my, with my own wrathful rebuke. So, he needs to make a dex saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. He needs, he needs to meet or 18. beat 14. All right, so he's saved, so he needs to take half of 2d8. So I'll roll 2d8, and he'll take the half. So he'll take five. Okay, so as he puts his hand on your chest, and, and uh, red-black energy flows from his hand into your chest, and you feel the coalescing darkness uh, encompass you, and, and, and you know you take that damage, but then you kind of shove his hand away and, and do your own spell, and uh, some damage goes back to him. So now Remy. How does he look? He looks um, completely surrounded and still standing, ready to fight. If I do a uh, physical, like a shallic arrow, is that always lethal damage? Or say if I do enough damage, like it could be not lethal? Um, an, an arrow? I don't see how you can make that non-lethal. If you like, like to the knee. Can I, the knee. Can I, yeah. yeah, can I throw out that in the past we've let archers use disadvantage to aim for a particular body part? But that's just <sighs> something we've would, done before. Moon, I would, I would, I love the idea, but I would prefer if Remy had an arrow with like a big boxing glove on the end of it, like in Tom <laughs> <and> Barry. <laughs> No, with your sharp-tipped arrows, Remy, there's really no way for you to knock them out. You're going to have to buy blunted arrows or something like that. That, I mean, right. that makes so, no sense to me. Right, I, uh, I hear what's going on. I look over and go, oh, shit. And uh, I move over about there. And I, I go, uh, Proxus, and I use Improvise, and I throw my... Uh, The manacles over Proxus, the, the handcuffs. Okay. Um, make a dexterity check. <laughs> okay, so you whiff them over here. <laughs> <laughs> the archer can't throw. I'm, I'm not as good at throwing, guys. <laughs> you, know, you can always blame it on the ghost. I saw her. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably put those pictures up. <laughs> Wait till the handcuffs are laying down next to you guys. Yeah. Um, okay, Proxus. Okay. What was the grappling rule again? It was a. Uh, just slows them down, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna punch him in the back of the head. Okay, roll an attack. That hits. Five damage. Five damage. Yeah. Okay. So 
So he takes the punch with a meaty thump. And uh, he he's starting to bleed from the mouth, and he's he's uh, kind of hold, holding his arm and um, holding his his chest and sides a little bit. So holding his ass. <laughs> his ass is thoroughly frozen. And I'm gonna wind up my left and action surge and do it again. Okay. <clears throat> that hits. Roll damage. Five, is five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Alright, zip it. Mm. Yo, one, two. That the last punch kind of knocks the wind out of him, and he's kind of gasping there, uh, kind of leaning over and, and looking really rough. I'm going to shoot rays of icicles at his sword hand to disable it. Okay. That hits. Okay, so do you want to knock him out or kill him? Knock him out, because all of these guys feel, I feel like, want to either, I don't know. They don't want him dead. Okay, yeah. so you, you uh, your ray of frost um, hits his legs, and he, he can barely stand, so he just falls over from the pain and, and gets knocked unconscious. Hey, Proxus! You don't want to ask this guy some questions. What is the meaning of this? What's, uh, What's happened out here? here? So, Remy's picking up the cuffs and he goes to place them on the gay. Bro, oh, God. We should, uh... Search his body. It. Search his body, I mean. <laughs> we should Tie take him. Up. We should take him down in the basement and pick up the, the dagger with him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if we take him to his basement, he's going to become a demon and oh, eat man. us. So you find two gold on his person, and you find, um, Cheap just bastard. A, you just find, um, I don't know if pamphlets is the right word, but just like a, a journal basically just describing his, his love and worship of Sirik. I'm, uh, I'm going to investigate these guys over here, same manner. Okay. And was I good to handcuff him? You can, yeah. So on them you find 15 gold and the same pamphlets. What's happened, boys? What is this? Are these the cultists that live here? Who said that? The paladin? The paladin. Yes. <clears throat> Can I pick up his sword? And what okay, was it's it? A, it's just a short sword. Okay. Um, oh, well, you know, apologies, team, but I saw that Moon and Remy were, well, they were, they were going to get got by that mob of spooky men coming in, so I, I you know, I just had to Take action! So, Chris, when you inspected the bodies, too, you noticed that the three in the back uh, look to be dressed <clears throat> in, in very simple, <clears throat> excuse me, simple clothing. Um, and then the, the two, the one in the front of the group there and this one here um, had short swords, whereas the others had daggers. And these guys have um, the, what looks to be leather, leather um, coats, but on the inside fabric, you see that it's a purple and silver trimmed uh, interior. They obviously uh, didn't want us to take him alive. That, that one guy slit his throat right in front of my face. By the gods. I the cultists are these. I kick the corpse. I go and get my great sword and grapple hook. They were okay. very in they were very interested in your paladin friend Alfski. Okay, so he's going to uh, investigate this corpse, and you see him ruffle through the, the body, and then when he opens up the leather robe and sees the uh, purple uh, fabric and the silver lining, you see him uh, almost like he touched a burning coal, and he falls backwards to the ground and, and pushes himself away from the body. We need to get out of here. We need to leave right now. 
We need to talk to him. We want nothing to do with this man or this place. This man murdered our our good companion's soulmate. He just Then we need to get her and leave. But he can answer our questions of what's going on. He will tell you nothing but lies and deceit. We can make him talk. I have my ways. <laughs> have you ever smelled a dwarf's farts after a night of stew? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a folly. Do not attempt to speak to them. Well, they I'm, are masters you know, of deception. This man, I feel like, can't be trusted out of character. I feel like he's trying to you know, get rid of a loose end, you know? He doesn't want us to hear the truth. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and turn, and I'm going to roll in a... I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, roll initiative again. <laughs> oh, Malganis, <laughs> how did you get here? <laughs> Rogar, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> well, Proxus, what do you... Uh... Proxus, what do you want to do with this guy? Yeah, I agree. I, I think this is Proxus' decision. He goes back to Neverwinter. We're taking him with us. That's that's fine, but uh, this is where I leave you. I will not travel with that thing. All right, worthless guy. See ya. <laughs> Go check out the altar, big bad paladin. <laughs> altar. What do you speak of? Oh, you wanted to leave this place. What do you care? Are you okay. telling me this estate is built upon an altar? Yeah. We found Outski's body down there laying on the altar. While you guys deal with him, I'm going to cast Floating Disc. So he comes over and looks at the body, and, and you just start to see his hands shake, and he, he is completely unnerved seeing all the Lathander um, images and, and things desecrated in her body, sacrificed in this way, and um, he's just completely beside himself. Lathander is one of Sirik's most hated enemies, and I know at times of praise to Sirik, Lathander paladins in particular are used as sacrifices for their evil god. I was probably next. Yeah, but he wasn't, though, and he seems to know a lot about these people. A lot about them. A little fishy to me. Can you help or not? So far, you just I, want to run. I cannot help this, this poor soul. None of you can now. Well, we know who to go after, and I want revenge. Who? And, th and this man is going to take him to me. Huh. Huh. Oh. You call yourself a paladin? Where's your sense of justice? Of retribution? Tethys, you fool. If justice you seek, slay this man right here. He may have information I need. Did you just say to... Slay a uh, a bound man, and you're a paladin. It's, you do uh, not understand the evil nature of these creatures. I How walk. I walk up. Fool you. I walk up to an inch to be uh, up to his face, and I said, "I didn't say justice." <laughs> Chris sounds like Batman right now. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are ruining something I'm gonna do to this cultist. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So he matches your stare. I understand you're angry. But you know not what you flirt with here. This cult is beyond anything you've experienced before. I can guarantee that. And you're not going to get anything out of him. But do as you wish. I'll not get in your way. Lies or not, there's often truth buried within and then I fart as I walk away <laughs> <laughs> you 
craft dust uh, star eyes as you go back to the <laughs> corpse or to the bound man. I go, I, my eyes glisten as I realize it's a necessary evil. <laughs> <laughs> while, while, uh, oh, crap, I can't actually. Yo, by the way, I, I'm feeling a little woozy, fellas. We, whichever <laughs> we, decision we choose, we, we probably want to get on out of here soon. You should go back to Neverwinter. Remy. Put him in a bag. B bind his legs. I know you like to do that. So the paladin what? takes off. Yeah, go, go check out the altar with the evil dagger or Down anything. The bridge. He's not going anywhere fucking near the house. <laughs> All right. Don't what? worry. We just saved your life. See you later. Thanks what do you, for nothing. What do you say we yeah. burn it to the ground? I don't know if you're yeah. gonna be able to burn rock and stone. We 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 can we can desecrate stuff though, right? Right. Well, the Tethys could be back, and I don't think we're ready for that. True. True. <laughs> All right. Let's just spray. I'm just gonna tag. Mahi. I mean, the you could destroy his library, practically. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, while you guys are chatting, dump one of my oil flasks all over his valuable. And bed and everything. And then light it with a torch. Taz is upstairs? Like... Yep. <laughs> Taz is like, I really underestimate the autonomy of humans. <laughs> Remy, I can, you got my rope. Tie him up. So, Chris, you're upstairs right now? Yeah. You okay, guys... so as you enter Tethys' room, you see that the door that you guys had closed. Um, so get yourself up there. Oh, you're going to have actual things happening. <laughs> Can you guys lift this guy onto my Pinter's floating disc? I don't want to touch him. <clears throat> I'm, at, I'm, I'm hanging on by a thread here. Well, I'm weak. Moon, put him on this floating disc. So as you as you walk into this room, and after you get done dumping the oil, this door opens, Chris, Proxus, and you see the portal start to uh, coalesce and, and begin to open as well. Uh, I back out into the hall with a torch ready. <laughs> he flicks a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He does have a little Trying to... <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'm lighting. I'm smoking my pipe right now. He's very calm while this is all happening. <laughs> wow, he's so cool. Yeah, we call that cool. That's what we call that. Kids, kids watching at home. Do I have my I have my hand on the door too. Okay. I'm I'm letting that, I'm letting that scenario roll out. We're just down here putting this. <laughs> guy on a mount so whatever's happening up there keep it going you guys loaded up elfski i hope we have horses zorbert the gates open up here i just got done spreading my oil everywhere proxis <laughs> well we should leave why what's wrong give me a minute and the portal's open he's hanging out probably with tethys soon I hope Proxus says oh, shit, some Should like... we get up there? No. So walking through... <laughs> uh, walking through the portal, you see three men dressed the same as the two uh, that you had slain. I just step out with my torch and pipe. Okay. And I just say, Welcome to hell. And I throw my torch at the puddle. Okay. And then I close the door and put a javelin in it. If you men, unless you're making me roll stuff. So, I mean, throwing the torch on the oil is is easily uh, done enough. But if it depends on, like, are you, like, slamming it shut, throwing it in as quick as you can to run? I'm just smiling and laughing as I do it. Nah, fully aware that they can go back through the pool. But I'm still burning the house now. Why can't I cut away? What's going on? So, uh, you, uh, roll initiative. Me? Yes. Alright. <laughs> uh, where's my sheep? 
18, 20. Okay, so go ahead and make your turn. Uh, how much damage do they take? What is that? Like environmental fire damage? Uh, it's kind of I re everything I've read. It's kind of up to you. It could be one d eight for the for the initial burst. Could be whatever. If it's the same as like what you would consider my flaming spear, it'd be two d six a turn. <clears throat> I um... that's, that's probably similar. I rolled a strength check to put dashing and leaping out the window and catching the sill. So I'm assuming you want an athletics roll. Yes, I'll ski on the horse, spare horse, or his horse. Twenty three. Okay, you you uh, make it to the window, and you um, you can you can definitely leap out with that roll. Yeah. And it's one floor down, so however you want to. Okay, so take. Oh, where's Bump? I got it right here. That'll be two floors to me. <laughs> and I'm hanging off out when I drop. So you're not falling to the ground? No, I just like flipped out the window and hung. And that was my athletic role was to hang and then drop. Oh, okay. I didn't like fly out the window. I like vaulted and then hung down. I think it was like 7.3 movement to get there. Do I, do I get movement on the way down with that roll? No. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll say I can't find it right now, so you don't take any damage. Um, so now it's going to be this guy's turn. I have to somehow get out there. Gonna take... You're going to have to teleport me out there. 11 points of burning damage. I wonder what uh, is going on with Proxus. He said something about the portal opening. <laughs> Portal's open? Yeah. Whenever you can, move me to that spot. You think he's alright? Okay. While he was doing all that, I put Elfsky on his horse, and this dude is on my floating disc. Sound good? Yep. Okay. Oh, well, we should pro probably help him. Maybe. When yeah, do they start seeing help. smoke? <laughs> um, so they from where they are, you guys can see a flash of light uh start to flicker from this window and from this window. Oh, he actually lit it on fire, guys! Look up there! Oh, cool. Let's leave. Remy looks up and sees dead. Go we gotta go in and get him! I, don't I just... Get him. My feet are frozen! I can't move! Good old battle mode. He's up there. He's up there. can't see it in there unfortunately for the video just gonna run there to the balcony and same with this one oops I got a little damage So um, as they, well, you can't see them from where you are, can you? No. All right, your turn. Um. You guys roll initiative over by Elfsky too. So what is what's the going on with you guys? What do you have Elfsky on? My horse. He's on a horse. How did the horses get over there? I don't know. They were uh, doing that while we were burning the house down. So they went all the way back across the bridge 
to the riverside <laughs> to get the horses. I don't know. I see okay. them over there. Jesus. I'll, I'll, fine. No, they're both I'll on my floating legs. disc then. I'll get her legs. <laughs> my floating disc can hold both of them. They're on it. Let's Those go. are not your horses, Chris. Oh. I thought they were ours and that's what they were doing. Where are our horses? Way back on the other side. Where you the guys board. entered the map. Anyway, this gate's still open. I need to measure this again. Uh, so I speak gonna... into the sending stone as I'm running. Okay. And I'm like, run, guys, run! We have company! Uh, 22 for moon. Okay. And there's no way I'm getting past all that. You guys can go the other way. I'm going to take uh, cover behind the bush. Can we jump these fences or no? I'm crouched behind you the bush. Can I can't take these two bodies over these fences. You can haul them. Just toss them over. Carly won't mind. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to carry a full body while sprinting and fight for my life. All right, so this... Uh, what are you doing, Proxmus? You're hiding in that bush? I'm like, in, yeah, I'm in cover right now. Oh, okay, but you're not hiding. So, um, this one is going to cast command on you. 60 foot range. Okay, make a wisdom saving throw. So what cover am I in? Um, Half cover? In a bush like that? I would say... Well, it's, I think it's only on <clears throat> dexterity anyway. Yeah, it would be like a... a AC and dex... AC. Yeah. So make a wisdom saving throw. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So you hear um, this cultist uh, cry out a command word to you, and um, you you uh, feel his his word of command come into your mind, and it, it attempts to make you um, bow down and grovel on the ground, but you shake it off, and uh, you, you remain uh, intact. This one is going to cast a similar spell. You hear him, uh, you see him hold, put his hand out towards you. Uh, make another wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> yeah, fuck off. So you don't even <laughs> feel that one. Uh, you, you feel uh, something kind of start to come over you, but you, you having seen old star eyes, you just, that image just keeps coming back in your head and you push it away. It'd be perfect if I was a barbarian because I'd be frothing. Yeah. And then for this guy's bonus action, he's going to tell this guy next to him, Stop him! So you are going to make another wisdom saving throw. Is that fire spreading, by the way? I don't know. Woo! Okay, so you, having shaken off two... Uh, mental assaults upon you the third one just is too much and uh, you feel your body stiffen up and you become paralyzed what condition is this incapacitated can't move or speak for can't take minute. actions or reaction at the end of each of its turns the target can make another wisdom saving throw on a success the spell ends on the target okay moon It's an enchantment, so is that a concentration? Or is it just... Do I, does it... Does the effect wear off if I leave? No, you have to keep making wisdom saving throws for it to will fall off, but I'm wondering if he has to keep channeling. I don't think so. Well, I can move. No, you can't. You can't. Yes, I can. Can't move or speak. It says, take actions or reactions. It yeah, movement... Oh, it's an it, action. A paralyzed creature. Paral you said incapacitated, not 
paralyzed. No, a paralyzed creature is incapacitated and can't move or speak. So I'm paralyzed, not incapacitated. Yes. Those are two different things. It says incapacitated in the fucking description. Look, look <laughs> to red. There's two. I know, I know what you're saying, but I was just reading the description. So say I'm paralyzed. He did. He did. You <laughs> did. So I'm paralyzed yeah. and capacitated. No. Goodness gracious. I just, what's going on over there, man? <laughs> I ignore you because I'm paralyzed. Can he talk? That is good. Is that? <laughs> That's a better question. I'm getting visions, or I'm getting a, a familiar feeling of Chris's voice with like when he was cursed by an awareness. Go back one. We skipped Remy's turn. I dashed towards Broxus. Okay. Yeah, me too. Well, obviously, this gate's connected to more than one place. All right, I'm just. Uh... There you go. Moving. Or they were all at the mayor's house. Moving or dash. one of them is the mayor. I shouldn't have bothered burning it down. Roga. No, I love it, dude. Um, so you said you have both the bodies in the disc? Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Does the, does the disc move on its own? Yes, it follows me. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. It's okay. like a baby Yoda carrier. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's okay. exactly what it is. It cannot... I don't think I can get it to jump the fence. Maybe I can. I'm going to move five, and then I'm going to use my action to cast... Let me make sure I have this. Uh, yes, oh, I want to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. I'm going to touch myself for 1d8 plus four. Mm. Big money, big money, big money! <laughs> Six. Thanks. That's my turn. Uh, it, could, it could go over the fence, actually. Nice. Um, and then put those bodies. At the, no, where's my where's my marker? At the four tile. Oh, here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Yep. And there. What is it, Con? I thought it was wisdom, but I could be wrong. Hang on a second. Uh, Zerbert, I'm making these. Mine. Yeah. Okay, uh, it is a wisdom saving throw. Nice. Okay, so you remain <laughs> completely frozen. <laughs> He's laying there now, his hands are like rigor mortising. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to cast a spell at you. Make a oops. Hang on. Is going to make a it's gonna cast a spell upon you. So you just take the damage because it's a dexterity saving throw, but you don't get any dexterity saving throws. So the spell hits. You take three points of damage. As a sacred flame, dark and black, comes from the sky and strikes you. These guys just see me sizzling. Can't move and I'm like burning. Five. You take five points of damage. He's going to do it again. He's playing the victim now. For four <laughs> points of damage. So a total of 13. Like I cast it twice? No, they all three of them oh, cast okay. the same thing. Moon. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, man. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I can't even move that far. Um, can I... Let me check my axe before I say that. No, I can only throw that 20 feet unless it's disadvantage. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, is this a is this a jump over this fence? Yes. And that's so that's like double your move or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. So it takes me ten to get there. Make okay. an athletics check too. Sixteen. You clear it. <clears throat> All right, I can move like right up near Chris. Or Croxus and then attempt to pick him up, but I didn't get I can't get quite to him before Remy starts moving. Remy. Is dashing. Hey guys, if you're gonna I'll be right back, okay? Uh Rogar, it's your turn. Are you muted? Yo. Yo. Your turn. Hey. Oh, I gotta deal with it. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to cast another 1d8 plus 4 on myself. Nice. That's my turn. Thank you. When you're doing the look tiles, how do you make it go vertical? Control. My theory is if they can see us through that banister, I can see them through that banister. Yeah. He is back. We're gonna do some stuff. They continue to get like burn damage or anything from the fire, or since they left the room, they'd be good. Um, they're now no longer taking burn damage, unless he like... flavors it where their clothes are on fire. So I'm pretty sure I can move now because it's only one turn. I don't. What spell is it? He just did command halt. I don't hear anything. Because, no, I, because I because I failed. <clears throat> the, no, I'm. It's over now. You. I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, command only takes effect from the start of the creature's turn. Basically, ended my one turn. Cause there's like four things he can tell me to do or whatever and halt was just it ends my turn essentially target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn and he told me to stop so it's not an indefinite stun until i like roll yeah that's op if it is yeah that's what i was like this is dumb if that's like a stun like you could just literally have that spell because we could get that spell and do that Don't worry if you uh, if your character dies, I'll bury you under Zorbert's classroom. Mm. <laughs> with, with just everybody just make him a mass murderer teacher. Did he say he was leaving? Did he be right back? Shit. Um, Those guys are clerics. Evil clerics. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Alright, I'm going to upcast sleep on the balcony. Okay. Which I'll basically aim it at that center one. And it okay. will hit all three depending on. Does. So, well, yeah, so it's not a, like, an attack roll or anything. You just cast it in an area, and they it's, have to make saving throws? No, it's just for the, well, kind of. It affects 36 HP worth of people. So, starting with the lowest HP person that falls asleep, and you take okay. it out of that number, and then to the next and to the next. So, if they all have 20, then only one will fall asleep, is yes. an example. So he falls asleep. The other kind, of, the other two kind of shake it off. Okay. And you're taking into account the damage they lost, right? 
Yes. Okay. How many is it? Five feet per tile? You gotta make a wisdom saving. <gasps> I do not. It's only one turn. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So the, the wisdom saving throw would have, if I had made it last time, just I would have escaped the command. Oh, okay. It's only on that turn. Unless you oh, want to... One minute. Yeah, so I'm into a chip. Unless you want to say otherwise. Its duration is one minute? Yes. I think that implies it's a turn. One minute is ten turns. Is it? My my sleep. If I'm using a second level spell slot to put someone to a sleep for one turn, I would never cast that. It says spell duration, one game. turn, one round. Okay, one, one round is yeah, different than round. one minute. Very much different. Hold person says duration one minute. That's hold, hold person. That's yeah, different you... than. All right. So what did you cast? Hold person. Yeah. Hold. Hold person's an actual. Because you just said command the first time. Right, that's he what just one of them that's... cast. Oh, okay. Yeah, hold person's way more better. For the... I'm smart wizard. It's the best. The best, uh, <laughs> best so way. Which one of those guys cast it, by the way? This last one here. Was he asleep? I would have got up here. That's the first one. No, this was the first one. Where'd he go? Roll your wisdom, let's go. It is a concentration too. And we're and we're sure about the one minute thing being ten turns. Yes, I'm a hundred percent sure. You might break free. Try it. You do not. Okay, so he is going to look at you, Moon. You make a wisdom saving throw as you feel a voice start to talk in your mind. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Wisdom? Sorry, I was... Yes. Uh, yep, I'm going to use my luck to re-roll that bad boy. Okay. Which never works out for me anyways. Yeah, it does. Ooh, okay. It bounces, so it bounces you... back and I'm speaking into his mind now. <laughs> All of it, so uh, you shake it off, and, and the spellcaster up here just starts to smell the faint smell of mushrooms. No, he goes. He's definitely seeing some psychedelic shit now. Okay, <laughs> this one is going to remain um, concentrating on on his hold person spell on Proxus. You can attack and cast yeah. during that. He can cast. You just can't cast something else. That would maintain your concentration. So he can cast a damage spell. Yes. As long as it doesn't use concentration. Okay. <laughs> so he is going to do a sacred flame on you again, Proxus. Six. Me. Uh, let's see. I do. I wonder. I have an. In, I have an disadvantage, but can I attempt to? pick up Proxus and move him away. If he can. How much encumbrance do you have? Yeah, what do you move at like half speed maybe? Uh wow oh shit, where is it? I mean I don't know how much I have in, in my just, bag. It's a strength times fifteen, I think. Yeah. Just click uh weight carried under your inventory. Um, my carry capacity is 195, so... But, but I <clears> push, can push drag, drag, lift. Yeah, I can drag you. As long as you don't weigh over 300 pounds. I weigh 150. You can drag... Okay. Plus my actual weight, which I have no idea what... One, I weigh like 300, yeah? Oh my gosh. Total. I don't know, wait, in access. Okay, when I... I'm trying to read what I, how far I can move if I'm dragging you. Your speed drops to five feet. That's in access. I'm not in access. Of your carry oh, capacity. Oh, oh. So my carry capacity is 195. Yeah, you'd be five feet. 
That's one time. I can only pull you one dial away. Oh my gosh, I can't do anything else. All right, that's fine. No, that's flavor. I'll start. I start dragging Proxus away one tile at a time. Okay. I don't have anything else that can. Right there. Yeah, move, move. We both move one tile. Yes. So, move Proxus five feet, or or with me, or whatever. So you grasp. You you grip your arms around his waist as he's completely paralyzed and you just start to drag him backwards and you notice his arms and his legs are just stiff. Like a dead weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Praxis, come on! We gotta get out of here! Can we get an update? I really want to know if there's flames starting, like, accumulating. Can we see anything else at this point? It's been a couple um, minutes. You can make a perception check right now. I'll let you do that. Alright, I'll that. do that quick because of my angle where I'm standing. Yeah, 19. So you see smoke coming out of this, these windows here. It's kind of billowing out pretty good. Okay. Cool. Uh, Alright, Remy. Alright, so I'm confirming my line of sight on this first guy. They're definitely in cover. Yeah, get yeah no, just get them. I don't, uh, I ignore three force cover. Now, oh, sure. <laughs> then oh, yeah. you're good. Um, yeah, you but, you, but you also lose it anyway for that, right? What? Oh, you... that, uh, that's just a general thing, but if I do the extra 10 or the, the, the plus Two 5 different. minus. Yeah, yeah, one's a passive, the other's a move. Right, right. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on the first guy, and I'm just going to do... I'm not going to use the... Uh, the You're not gonna do the damage shot. thing, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the regular. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you should use the sniper shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, kidding. just kidding. You're using the sniper. Yeah, sniper shot him. You gotta drag me like two more tiles. I know. I thought I could drag you 15 or something. So I got like. eight plus. Close. And these guys already have damage, right? Yes. So 13. Then I also have Colossus Slayer. So what, 16? 16 total. Okay. That ends his turn. So does damage break concentration? Um, I think you have to roll to see if you maintain. Yeah, you it. have to. You have to roll a Constitution save. Constitution saving throw. And it's got to beat what? I don't it's got to beat. I think a your spell save. I think a ten. Okay, so it. it uh, the, you see the arrow in, uh, penetrate his, his leg and it goes right through the other side, but he keeps his hand. On Proxus extended out, and a look of determination on his face as he keeps the spell intact. Roga. The DC equals 10 or half the damage you would take, whichever number is higher, for future reference. Oh, okay. I am going to. Nope, not that way. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm gonna dash one, two, three, four, five. Yellow. That's my turn. Okay, so as uh, Zorbert steps up, ready to um, make an attack, you guys hear a brief explosion as this wall explodes out from the mansion uh, rubble flying all over the the fountain and uh, smoke starting to billow out more from the windows and the explosion <clears throat> bursts these doors open here and Proxus you feel your limbs start to come back to you and you can move again as this guy's concentration breaks from the explosion 
say real quick um, on that topic prior, dragging, they say, is closer to grappling, and it should be half your movement, like when you're grappling someone. The weight capacities is for literally like an inanimate object that you're trying to drag. I think it should still count based on my weight, though. What's the rule about this fence? It's only five feet. You gotta make an athletics check to just jump over it successfully. Unless you misty stepping over it. Otherwise that makes strength, like, stupid. Uh, I guess I could misty step and then run. That makes sense. Yeah, then you don't have to vault over the... Yeah, misty step to there and continue moving cover behind this tree. Uh, pretend he did something. As long as the variable isn't 10 feet or greater, um, that disc will just follow me and go navigate over that wall. So if that was like a 10 foot fence, it would be stuck behind it. Mm. Just... Hmm, do I keep pelting? Do I shoot them? I don't think I can hit them. What was that? Two tiles there? Bad rear guard. <laughs> you look way back there. My heel. <laughs> um, I just get behind the tree here. And then I take a shot at him with my crossbow. His rope is over it behind that tree. Uh, is he? The tree's not big enough for two I'm people. I'm using it as cover. Oh, they can't mm -hmm. do anything anyway. But their spells are only 60. I'm just doing covering fire. Okay. If they cast a spell, I'll shoot. Okay. At whoever cast. What do you... Do you have a slingshot? What do you have? My crossbow. Cool. Light crossbow. I want a hunting bow. Just plink. You cannot see the arrow there, so 60 feet. Yeah, 60 feet. Twelve, right? Yeah. He's going to hold his turn and ready to spell for the next person that he sees within range. So does this one may have to make a save, Kyle? Mm, the one no sleeping? save. He just waits. Uh, I think he just, yeah, he just waits 10 turns or someone has to wake him up. Oh, okay. And then this one is going to come over here and wake his buddy up. You see, you see him run over and you don't hear what he says, but you see him kind of rough the guy uh, next to him. And the other guy... Looks like he up. kicked him. And that's his turn. Moon. Um, not being able to do anything, I'll just continue my uh, retreat back with the group, but I, you're still on Spellcaster. Oop. This is all a range fight, boys. He hit him. I think I still have line of sight on this first guy. Even though Press can hold control and go up. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, you've got a clear shot. All right, so um, it's not the uh, same. The guy that was closest to me is now in the middle, correct? Yeah. All right, so I don't have hunter's mark on the first guy but i'm gonna shoot this guy for him. okay and i'm gonna use uh this is where an explosive arrow would be cool <laughs> all right so what's smoke screen can you throw that up there Ooh, that's so i used it. so i used sharpshooter so it's okay. minus five, so it's 20 plus so, two. Um, 
So how am I going to do this? It's still in that it's still corner, though. It's yeah. still a crit. Yeah, but how do I, I've never done hit a crit so, and I also had the uh, the bonus um, sharpshooter thing. The so plus is just damage the twice. Alrighty. You roll, I think you roll damage twice, then add the modifiers. Right? You don't add it to each roll. You add the modifiers to each roll, but your ten adds after it all. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I meant the the ten. So roll your damage like usual twice. So that's seven plus. Nine. That would also just be one. Yep, so now just roll your D ten again. For your Yeah. Ooh. So 30 18, damage. 19, 20, plus 20, and then Is it a D ten or just straight ten damage? It's straight ten. Okay. Thirty damage. Thirty damage. Thirty damage total? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so your um arrow flies or your bolt flies right through this little crevice here and it sinks right into the the head of that cultist and he flops over nice all right and that's all i can do and he is destroyed <clears throat> Roga. <laughs> Look at him go. Uh, um, muted. Whoops. Which roll am I making to go over the fence? Athletics. Oh, jeez. Oh, but before that, this cultist is holding his turn, and he is going to cast hold person on you. Yeah. No, I just see him try. <laughs> Roger is too wise for that. Come on. Make a wisdom saving throw. Rogar is quite wise indeed. No, oh, he's so stupid. Ah, uh, that's a ten, baby. So, uh, as Rogar goes to leap over the fence, his body tenses up, and he is completely frozen, paralyzed. Can he tumble over? Or is he hanging on the fence? What's he no, doing? No, he he caught himself just in time. Which side of the fence is he on? The wrong side. <laughs> 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 I'll help out my friend. My best friend, Rogar. I will use a second level spell slot to upcast Magic Missile. Okay. Um, with two bolts at each one of the cultists. Okay. Do the first two on the one that just held person on Rogar. Okay. Seven damage to the one. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. They just cast hold person. That that doesn't prevent me from doing an action, right? Let me just have this conversation. Um, it incapacitates you as well was what we discussed. Oh, okay. You're paralyzed for that dirty. And what was the damage on the other one? Uh, eight. Eight total? Yes. Okay, so your missiles fly from your fingertips and hit the, the two cultists at the top of the balcony there. And the one that cast Hold Person um, on Rogar uh, looks severely wounded now, having taken the brunt of that damage. But he's still able to keep his spell hold on Rogar. Is he concentrated now? What a loser. The other one... Um, Looks like you know the the hits hurt him, but he's still ready to fight. Oh shit! It was hold person, right? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about incapacity. What are you they're talking about? They're if paralyzed. you hover over it, it says a paralyzed creature is incapacitated. Paralyzed for the duration. Maybe that's where I saw that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to shoot at him with my crossbow at max range. Well, max not disadvantage range anyway. Okay. Oh, did you know, Tezik, that all of your attacks on them, on a paralyzed person, have advantage? Yes. Okay. 
Oops, that was not supposed to be him. But I think it's still my number, so it doesn't matter. 18. 18 hits. Which one are you attacking? The one that's on Rogar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have to do damage. Eight. Okay, so your crossbow bolt uh, finds its way through the uh, grid of the balcony um, railing and uh, embeds itself in the stomach of that cultist, and he falls over. And Rogar, you feel your limbs come back to you, and you can move again. Woohoo! Oh, I thought you meant cooked, literally. Pretty much, one of them. So, um, you guys notice the smoke coming out of the room um, is becoming less frequent, and it is less um, dense. That was fast. So you see this cultist um, look at the situation around him, and he is going to go back into the estate and close the doors. And then he burns alive. We're making us do all this. I want to go in there. I'm leaving. You can go in there. <laughs> F 20 cultists hold person you down while they yeah. do things to you. Okay, moon. <laughs> can we just disengage combat? If you guys want to, yes. That's up to you. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Moon is not doing anything this turn, so. I'm just we can't leave any any loose ends. We must go back. Loose ends. We burnt the building down. They know what happened. So the the building is not burnt down. You can tell that the smoke well, is stopping, that. and it looks like the fire has been contained. But it's Having not like the structure been mostly stone. It, it what probably you know, you can deduce happened is that it burnt everything that the fire could consume in that room and it stopped. Process. So that guy, we just assume he choked to death and he's dead. No, we gotta make sure. Go ahead. No, there's I'm plenty of airflow from the explosion of that whole wall that came out. Zero way he's alive. Go yeah. get him, real I hear everything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, end combat. Bump it up and charge. Bravely run away. <laughs> we just are we hanging out here or are we going back to Fandle? What are we doing? Probably we have a good. we have a cultist. Probably take a rest and watch. Take sure turns walking. We need to go talk to the mayor too about what we've discovered. Are we going to Fandolin or are we taking you wanted to take this cultist not to Fandolin? What do you want to do? Well, no one in Fandolin can help us, but we can just go to Fandolin and interrogate this guy if that's your plans. I've, I've, I've got a, I've got the perfect plan. So <laughs> take us to Fandolin. All right, we gotta go down this wood line. Oh, but I should take Elski to, or else Els Wiener to never winter to bury. Yeah, it better be a good grave. Do you want to go to the? She doesn't want to be in Fandolin. So are we going? I mean, we're we're hat we're more. Look, than we can either go to Fandolin, dump her. We can dump her in Fandolin, but have Bertha interrogate this guy. <laughs> and I think it never would. I would. I would enlist Lenine and Bertha to interrogate this guy. Who's, who's the guy that stuffed the manicure? How about, is that an idea? Yeah, we could literally have all the people we've been helping do this for us. Well, by the by the time we get to Vandalin, if you plan on putting Elfsky into a grave, she's going to be souped by the time we get to <laughs> Well, that's what Rogar, like, as we're traveling, can do his thing. Okay, so. If I think I want to go back. Day, we'll rest. Yeah, I think I want to do this with the. Uh... I want to do this interrogation plan. I think it'd be more All fun right. than the infantry guys. We'll make our way to Fandolin. And on the way, can we have him waving his hands on the back of the horse with her? Well, he's got a camp. He's got a rest to get that spell. 
so yeah. we literally have to camp, and then he can just do it. I think we need to camp. How far is Fandolin? Yeah, well, it's about two days. Yeah, we need to are. camp. Like, I mean, once we get out of this general area, we, we're fine. I mean, a cultist is going to tell Tethys is going to come kill us. Well, it's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he just jacked up his bedroom with his favorite stuffed animal on the bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was worth it. <laughs> we got some XP this for that. Way. This is the tree ant way. This is an egg. Yeah, this, right. this this um, is uh, this is the better path. Trust me. We got back on our horses, right? Because my disc would have died off by the time. Yes. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming the cultist went either on. He ain't up. The the cultist I'm, is awake. Knock yeah. him down. Knock him down. He's not allowed yeah. to stand up. Can he just keep casting sleep on it on the way? I trip him with my. Dad. You guys can try. Yeah. He's tied He's up. Make saving up. throws. <laughs> Good luck, one HP guys. Oh, you want to saving he's... throw against? <laughs> yeah, give us some tents and let's sign off. I, I just think if we like have all the townspeople help us do this, it'll be fun. What is interesting? Because to yeah. Toblin has that perfect torture chamber in his house. You don't know. <laughs> but he could tell us about it, is what I mean. <laughs> he doesn't know about it. I hope he does. Were multiple people at Harvin's house, or do you think that portal went somewhere else? I hope I... Vandalin's not burned to the ground. <laughs> so is is the cultist like manacled, shackled, and stuff? Yeah. yeah. They put stuff all around. And Where are the shackles? And the shackles are on his hands. His feet are tied up. Tied his feet with rope. And yes, okay. his hands are behind his back. Is he gag? Always. Did you gag him with yeah. your dirty sock? Always. Well, Rogar yeah. used his underwear, but... Oh, <laughs> oh milky gag. Oh, good luck, buddy. <laughs> That's gross. So he was gag. <laughs> He's very gagged. He's gagging. He's gagging. Okay. <laughs> He's probably dying, actually. <laughs> I want, I want the, I want the guy. The first thing I want him to see when he wakes up is just that, that like AI picture of Rogar with the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put that in the video. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Where is that? I really hope that's the case. <laughs> <Here he is. laughs> uh, guys, talk while I do this. Do we rest yet or no? No, I mean, we're setting up camp right now, as you can see here. I mean, I guess we could fast forward through the night and say that since it's a day out, this is the morning. Set up now. guard shifts and all that. I, I do got to run, though. I got to wait for like five. Six, yeah, we all got to sign off for sure. We're not, yeah. This is going to be our <laughs> setup. <laughs> all right, do a, just a, a quick scene with this guy. Hold on. <laughs> Do you need I it? thought I mean, you were pulling it up. Uh, I am. I'm, I just have to. Welcome to my heel. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're on my heel now. Come on, all our viewers want to see Rogar's picture. Let's go. Get it up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it's up really the nightmare fuel. It's coming. It's coming. This is, AI's, this is AI's initial interpretation of Rogar's character. Oh, why is it taking all so our, long? All our viewers out there. Where is it? What the heck? Say it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Windy. All right. Put it there. There he is. Here's what he sees. <laughs> I need a picture of a cult. <laughs> yeah, we can make like conversation <laughs> things. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, make it bigger. Yeah. Oh, the teeth, man. I can't get past. <laughs> Why has he got a cup of rotten milk? That's a soup. <laughs> That's because I put I put gas around in the description. <laughs> That's a stew. <laughs> Oh my 
<laughs> I'm gonna load up. I'm gonna load the up cultist, all the characters. The cultist just dies looking at him. I'll tell you anything. <laughs> he, did, yeah. he doesn't have the kind of. What's his uh? What's his muffled cries sound like? <laughs> <laughs> and with that like comment subscribe that's the end yeah we'll put up some other